Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Torchlight 3 video, I want to do a quick little bite sized Dust Mage skill overview. This was captured while streaming live on Twitch. I do stream there mostly on the weekends, sometimes during the week. Make sure you drop a follow and hopefully I'll be lucky enough to catch you there sometime. Another side note, this little video here is really, I mean, it's really just a general overview of some of the skills. If you want a more in-depth look into the Dust Mage, feel free to check out the description below. I do have a full Dust Mage covering it, which I will be updating all the guides as soon as we get the Relic update on August 4th assuming that there's no delay. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this skill overview video for the dust match. All right, here you go. So I'll pretend like you know, don't know anything about the dust mage. The way that it works is you have a dark meter and a light meter, which is right here. So yellow is your light and purple is your dark. So by using light skills, you fill up your purple meter and by using dark skills, you fill up your yellow meter, and they each have different perks. The light buff gives you mana regen, and the, damp the dark buff gives you a damage buff. All damage. So once your meter's full, like let's say you're trying to get the dark buff, you'll use the holy skill to fill up this bar. When it's full, you'll then use a dark skill, which will then pop up the buff. And then you'll want to spam your dark to get your light full, and then use a light skill to get your light buff. But if you're really good, you can do it simultaneously so they both fill up and you can get both buffs at the same time. That's ideal. Okay, so now you know the class mechanic, let's talk about skills real quick. So when you first start out, you're going to have, I think they give you Holy Bolt, right? As soon as you hit level two, I would pick up Dark Spears like Kentorin said. This is one of your highest damage skills starting out at first. And I would just put all my points into that until about level five. You can pick up your movement skill, Shadow Step, which I do recommend since uh, body blocking is an issue in the game. Even though you can use a health potion to knock back enemies now, so it helps a little bit there, but I wouldn't heavily invest into that, maybe for the mana regen. But yeah, I would put at least one point there and then go back to putting in points and Dark Spears until level 10. And then at level 10, you can pick up... Light Spear is going to do a hell of a lot of damage as well. And uh, Radiant Blast. This one, I wish I had it on to show you, but it's a uh, AoE like Ground Slam. But it's AoE, so it actually charges up your Dark Meter quicker than you do with Holy Bolt. Because Holy Bolt feels kind of trash. Yeah, you can respect in the game if you... Um, if you do contracts, you get these things called Respectacles. They're a one-time use item, and they give you back one skill point which look like this so if I wanted to I could right click on that and it would show right here that I have one respectacle but you do have to have your class station open there's one for each class uh, this is the mage one and then you would click on the skill that you want to take one point out of um, yeah that should get you up to at least level 10. L Luminous Run is really good as well. Absolver is one of my all-time favorite skills. Uh, this one's really good for summoning minions and pets if you're trying to do a pet build. This one's okay, but when I used it, the projectiles were weird. Supposedly they fixed it. Uh, I didn't mess with this skill. I heard this skill's, bu this skill's bug, but I haven't used it in a while. Yeah, Squid, we all know you like Forge better, dude. Um, Consecration. This is a really cool skill for co-op, but the thing is it's stationary and you have to actually stand in it to get the benefits. And when you're doing the game mode that we're doing right now with, uh, with the boys, um, you're kiting so much that it's just useless. But leveling up-wise, it could be a good choice. There you go. I hope that helped. I hope that helped. <laughs> Should have just, I should cut that and make that my new uh, Dust Mage guide. Yeah, I think it was good enough.